So in addition to the masking tape method shown in my other video, I wanted to show a little bit more about some nonlinear uh, techniques so that if you don't necessarily want to do a geometric pattern but you want some other unique shapes, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to need some painter's tape or masking tape, but the painter's tape in my experience lets go cleaner and easier. You're going to need something for slicing through the painter's tape, like an X-Acto blade uh, or a box cutter. And you're going to need a cutting board or some material that you don't mind cutting into as you're slicing your tape. Because you don't want to make your parents mad by cutting through onto their dining table. So if you want to do letters, something that you can do is you can use either the washi tape provided or you can slice some shapes out of masking tape in order to assemble letters, like right here. I am going to make the letter A out of these strips of masking tape. And you can just cut little strips out for the letters that are mostly made up out of straight lines. And for things with curves, you're going to use the next method that I just showed, or I'm going to show. Okay, so if you want to make some other shapes, especially bigger shapes, you're going to need to put together several pieces of tape and overlap them a little bit so that they're connected. That's going to help with after your shape is sliced, you need to pull it off of your mug. Okay, so I've put several strips together to create a bigger piece of tape and I've overlapped them. Uh, you can use stencils for things like this if you're creating a, a more structured shape. So I'm going to use the stencil to demonstrate and I'm just going to mark on the tape. I'm going to draw the shape that I want. So there is a hexagon shape or you can also draw your own shapes. Like, I don't know if you can see it very well, I just drew sort of a tropical flower shape. Just to show you that whatever shape you need, you can create it out of this method. And then it's just a matter of slicing through your tape along the lines of the shape that you're creating. Be very careful with these sharp tools as you're working. Alright, so I've cut my hexagon out and if you actually slice outward through the tape, sometimes it's easier to kind of remove the extra pieces that way. Okay, so here's my hexagon. And now I need to carefully lift up the conjoined pieces of tape. That's where the overlapping is important. And uh, now I have this shape that could be applied to my ceramic piece. Same thing for something more uh, organic like this flower shape. I just have to cut along it and then very carefully peel it up and put it onto my creation. If you have any other stickers at home, these can be useful for shapes um, that are pre-made and especially if you want to use a bunch of them, uh, like these reinforcers for lined papers at the hole punches. So you could create a whole bunch of 
rings, kind of target shapes. Stars, like if you have pre-made star stickers, or these labels for office supplies or yard sales. Um, this is a nice circular shape already pre-made so that you don't have to go through the effort of creating your own polka dots. Good luck. If you have questions, please let me know.